Morgan of SunWest Mortgage is here to change the world of loan originations forever. From sending updates to your clients to allowing you more time, you can do it all in a simple chat. You no longer have to struggle with documents. All you need to do is select the files and upload them and they're submitted in an instant along with your loan file. With SunWest, your true home is always within. Welcome to The Interest, I'm Sarah Wolak. It can be easy to feel down about where the market is right now, with businesses announcing layoffs and closures, but people want homes and the market always rebounds. And the future of the mortgage industry is bright, with some young, talented people ushering in the next generation. This month's issue of NMP Magazine is looking into that future, recognizing the top 40 mortgage professionals under 40. Our own Mike Savino caught up with a few of the honorees. But I also thought that like getting the business was as simple as just walking into a real estate office and going, hey, I do mortgages and people are just going to start using you. When Caleb Heaster entered the mortgage industry, he had a lot to learn, but he learned it. And at 28 years old, he's one of our 40 under 40, a list that celebrates younger professionals who've made a name for themselves already. And I think after 20 plus years you've spent in the industry, um, it's really exciting to be recognized. Many on the list didn't plan a career in mortgage. Danielle Sassini started as a receptionist at, for a local MLO thanks to a job from a friend's mom. She went to college to study law, but eventually realized she wanted to go further in the mortgage industry. It's like the mafia at this point in time. I'm here for a life. <laughs> but now these honorees look to share their wisdom with other young mortgage professionals. And they're always looking to bring in new people who are in their 20s into the field. You don't have to go to school for four years. You go to school for four weeks and you can, you know, you have the income potential to make just as much or more as any doctor or lawyer. They say it's important to bring in younger professionals, not just to replace MLOs who leave the field. Young mortgage professionals can certainly learn from veterans, but they also likely can teach a few things about working with tech or connecting with millennials and Gen Z buyers. I feel like the younger generation and the older generation working together really facilitates success. Of course, if those 20-somethings are turned off by the idea of filling out forms or working with numbers, remind them how it feels to help customers purchase a home. That's what motivates this year's list of 40 under 40. It's something important versus think, looking at each one as a transaction. Yes, it is, but there's also people on the other side of the transaction. I've literally had people call me and they're like in tears, choked up because they're purchasing a home. And um, you really do feel like you make it make a difference. You can hear more from some of our honorees on The Principal, the Mortgage News Network's daily podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. For The Mortgage News Network, I'm Mike Savino. Thanks, Mike. And you can see the entire list of honorees in this month's issue of NMP Magazine, available now at nmpmag.com. In other news, Wisconsin-based Inlanta is closing and will be laying off 62 employees as a result. The company's president filed a letter with Wisconsin's Labor Department. The company plans to wind down all operations by April, but the final timeline will depend on the company finding a third party to buy its assets. The letter pointed to a dramatic and unanticipated drop in demand for the reason. The independent mortgage lender was founded in 1993 and had branches in 27 states. Coming up, another mortgage servicer is facing legal trouble over COVID protections. Don't miss the largest regional mortgage show in the nation. The New England Mortgage Expo returns to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, January 12th and 13th. See us at www.nemortgageexpo.com. Start your year with the best connections in the industry. Dozens of sessions, scores of exhibitors. It's where success is written every hour. www.nemortgageexpo.com. Welcome back. An Ohio couple is accusing Mr. Cooper Group of wrongly denying the request for loss mitigation. In a federal lawsuit filed in Ohio, the couple claims NationStar, which rebranded as Mr. Cooper in 2017, violated special loss mitigation protections put in place during COVID. They claim Mr. Cooper Group was using eligibility requirements that did not exist under federal COVID protections for homeowners. The lawsuit notes that HUD laid out steps for determining a payment when a borrower applies for loss mitigation under the pandemic protections. But the lawsuit claims Mr. Cooper Group used other criteria. 
It also suggests that Mr. Cooper Group may have been misleading borrowers in trying to steer them towards other loss mitigation options that are more profitable to the company. We reached out to Mr. Cooper Group and they declined comment due to the pending litigation. The couple is seeking class action status. Just last week, Carrington Mortgage Services agreed to pay a $5.25 million fine for violating homeowner protections under the CARES Act. In that case, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau said Carrington misled owners into paying improper late fees when they asked for CARES Act forbearance. We'll be right back with what else is interesting. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting today. If you're a commuter or plan on driving a lot around the holidays, the heavy cost of travel could be letting up. Gas prices are as low as they were in February, with AAA reporting yesterday that the average price nationwide for a gallon of gas was $3.50. Gas price tracking company Gas Buddy says that the cost of a gallon of gas could drop to below $3 by Christmas time. How's that for a holiday gift? For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to MortgageNewsNetwork.com.